what's up everyone um, I wanted to do a quick video uh, on something that I've already covered a couple times um, but I'm getting questions about it still for what to do when you go on vacation um, what what do you need to do to prevent to do preventative maintenance on your DTF printer when you go on vacation now this um, this printer is a sure color p800 it's an Epson, of course, um, but this applies to pretty much any DTF printer. Um, you want to get these ink cartridges out before um, you know before you start up the uh, printer. I haven't started it up yet for the day, um, so we're gonna just pretend like. I mean, it is Saturday right now at the time that I'm making this video, so we're gonna act like. Uh, we're going to leave for a long weekend and not going to come back until Tuesday or we're going on vacation for for a week. So what we need to do is basically pull our ink cartridges out of the printer. Okay, take them all out, not just the white, not just the white. Let me say it again, not just the white. Take them all out. All right, take all of them out. You want to store these in a cool, dry place. Don't put them on the windowsill, in the sunlight. You know, just put them somewhere where um, it stays cool, all right? If you have smaller cartridges, put them in a Ziploc baggie. That would probably be better. So just pull them out of there. You don't have to, don't worry about shaking them right now because we're going away. We're going on vacation, right? So you have your other cartridges that have the cleaning solution in them. That's, that's what you want to use these for, okay? So just go ahead and put those in there. I just kind of set them in there and then I snap them into place. You know, make sure they're about halfway full. They don't have to be all the way full. And again, do not use Windex, all right? Because Windex will delaminate your print head. I haven't proved that. That's what I've heard. It's not worth the gamble. It's not worth the gamble. The cleaning solution is 30, 40 bucks. And uh, it's cheap insurance, really. I mean, for the, the price that you pay for these printers, get cleaning solution, get the right stuff that's made for it, okay? I mean, seriously, you're not, Anytime you try to save money, it costs you more in the long run. And I have proved that to myself over and over again on all aspects of life. Anytime I try to cheap out and do something uh, to save money, take a shortcut, it costs me more money and more time in the long run. And that is a fact. <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunately happened to me more than I want to admit. But, I mean, it's not, you don't want to go that route. So snap all your cartridges in place, make sure that they're seated and they're good. And then you're gonna turn your printer on. I'm not gonna turn this on because I'm gonna use this and I don't wanna get cleaning solution in the head right now. But you're gonna turn your printer on and then either if you have the function on the screen like this one does, or if you have to do it through your computer or through your RIP, um, or even the service program, whatever you have, you're gonna to start to run a couple head cleanings, all right? or an ink charge, whatever it is that you need to do, you wanna get the ink out of the head, okay? And then check your maintenance tank, make sure that your maintenance tank isn't full. This one is kinda of getting a little heavy, but you can see there's white. You see those white chunks right there? And I do my print head cleanings religiously, and there's still, that's dried up white ink. I print every day, multiple times a day. I do print head cleanings religiously. So this is proof that ink dries up. You know, some people leave it sit for three days, one guy told me, and that's, to me, that's just, it's ridiculous. Why do that? Why take the chance? You know, like I said before, I'm not trying to scare you. Um, I'm not trying to deter you. I'm trying to give you the information that you need because there's too many people that sugarcoat this stuff and it's not to be taken lightly. It's, I mean, this is serious stuff. You've got money invested into this thing. These cartridges are money. The ink is money. Everything costs money with these things. I mean, you know, to get started with a DTF printer, you're, you're talking at least 
a thousand bucks and that's if you convert it yourself you know and you know, getting a used printer uh, buying your cartridges I mean reality is it's gonna it's probably gonna be about 1500 bucks the rip software alone is 400 bucks so um, just be smart about it do <clears throat> do the right thing that you need to do don't skip steps these are not hard steps to do and uh, I mean I hope that helps if you have any questions Put them down in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna try to keep posting videos because uh, I really wanna try to help people. I don't. I want people to know the truth because I've seen too many people having problems um, because they don't know about doing the maintenance and that that's the key, all right? That's the biggest thing that just needs to be done. And uh, that's all I got right now, so. Hopefully it was helpful. Sorry if this is repetitive. If you already seen me talk about this before in another video, like I said, there's other people that ask me about this um, and I already have those other videos out that talk about this more in depth um, with, uh, well, the maintenance video that talks about this and the other cartridges video that talks about it also. But this is specifically if you go on vacation or when you're leaving for the weekend uh, more than two days so if you're gonna leave on Friday afternoon put these cartridges in if you're not planning to come back until Monday morning just don't don't skip that just do it put the cartridges in and then uh, run those cleaning cycles get that ink out of the head uh, keep your printer in tip-top shape all right you start to get lines in your head in your prints it's because you didn't do the maintenance all right so have a good one I'll see you guys later like, comment, subscribe, all that. See ya.